Hello students, welcome to Educel. Today's session is all about uh, the substitution method. The substitution method is useful for solving the recurrence relation. So what is recurrence relation that we earlier studied that one? But this is a new method. The, the problem exactly we are facing is how to find the proper case. There is a problem. So today's session definitely I'll tell you uh, a correct method to find whether a guess is correct or not like how you say your guess is uh, uh, correct how you say your guess is really working well that I'll tell you uh, now uh, I'll take just one example from one example we will discuss that this is the way to find the guess uh, like why guess is important here that we'll discuss okay let us start so the question suppose is uh, t of n which is a normal example that I'll take. Uh, the base condition must be decided is this one uh, where if n is equal to 1 it's 1 means the base condition we decided first. Uh, let us take uh, the same uh, example which we recently uh, completed okay in the previous videos <coughs> that is like this way uh, you can say otherwise or if n is greater than 1 okay so then how to go for a proper guess if your guess is correct or not like what are the steps for substitution method in uh, the first step is you need to guess okay guess what uh, we are going to guess is suppose t of n is <coughs> let us take an example of uh, though we don't know our guess could be wrong or right uh, let us think your guess is uh, just big of n okay suppose we know uh, t of n the value of t of n or the, the the complexity which we are going to find is t of n uh, the t of n is big of n which is uh, indirectly uh, said to be as per the formula it's less than a constant is getting multiplied with g of n in that g of n you replace n okay so this is how we can represent the big o of n okay <clears throat> our main target in substitution is all about to find the constant okay whether it is greater than 0 or greater than equal to 0 or greater than 1 that is our target the value of c and the value of n 0 or n naught sometimes we are saying uh, as we have already read uh, to display to 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 uh, give the particular formula whether uh, we are having like big O so we know C into G of N in that uh, where N naught should be less than equal to N uh, the N is a greater number that we are having a greater value we have where N naught we are using for to prove it okay that what you have already read in the previous videos that here our target is how substitution will run okay and how we go for a proper guess this is suppose I went for a guess okay next thing is uh, once I guess I, this is correct I can go for the mathematical induction mathematical induction or you can say inductive process or inductive procedure okay where we say a k is a variable that I introduce you uh, we say it's it's true for this c into k it's true uh, where you can say where uh, t of k is a big of k that we say we decided yeah this is for all k less than n okay uh, this is true uh, we assume that this is true then to verify to verify whether our uh, guess is correct or not what we have to do is you can go for a proof proof of uh, the case or uh, proving guess you can write take it then uh, you can take the example like uh, t of n that we have already read is uh, we have already written is uh, 2 then n okay so this is what exactly we found then we try to write the big O notations format when we are trying that one the constant which is getting multiplied here that we kept okay then in this case what we have to write we have actually written as c dot n okay 
so c is a constant which is multiplied and n in place of n we should have to write n by 2 why because the cost is n by 2 here okay and rest n as it is you keep as it is not an issue do not worry about that one okay you write only the function you are actually uh, uh, you know uh, expanding that function uh, then what you have to do now to uh, into c instead of dot dot also you can say it's it's into okay i can replace it it's just a multiplication don't be confused enough it's just a multiplication so uh, that multiplication is what it tells n by 2 plus n so here 2 and 2 got cancelled okay where you can say uh, you yeah, are writing now t of n equal to uh, greater than or uh, less than equal to c into n plus n okay now what you have to do you just go for simplifying it uh, then t of n is less than equal to c plus 1 into n so here you have already guessed is already uh, t of n you uh, for guess i am just saying t of n you have said that it is it should be uh, c into n but what it happens like when you are going for the proof it says c plus 1 into n okay so here c plus 1 into n is not equivalent to c into n okay to prove it if you can say no my visa is wrong not an issue if i am wrong no it's not correct with the c into n suppose to check that you can take example of c uh, let us take the value of c is uh, suppose 2 okay so one side i am saying no c plus 1 is not correct are not equal to uh, c into n okay so in that case you can take a value of c okay uh, so here 2 plus 1 into n this side i am all i already told so that's why it's not equal to i have written now whether 3n is equivalent to 2n no no so that is why i told you in that case when you are actually checking uh, so that could be possible yes with the some fraction but that fraction we are actually not taking as a part of it so what we are doing in, in, in inside that one we uh, instead of that n uh, when you are checking with that n value that is indirectly you are focusing on n not value or n zero value okay so this is how you said though uh, c plus one is not equivalent to cn or c into n so you can say your a uh, guess is a wrong guess okay it's a wrong guess then uh, we should improve it and one more thing i said uh, i want to tell you proper guessing uh, could be possible if you know the recursion tree if you know the iteration method of it uh, why it is important because i told you the, the previous videos we actually uh, found how to uh, get a correct out how to get the correct time complexity using iteration and how to find the correct time complexity using the recursion method that we discussed okay so hit here in substitution basically we what we guessed okay now how we are trying to prove it that is a part of it here we say it's wrong let us check uh, the value suppose as per this question i'm just going to t of n okay uh, is 2t n by 2 now i am going for the next guess okay where uh, n is greater than 1 this is the question now here i am guessing suppose i am guessing uh, might be uh, t of n could be b of n square log n suppose i am thinking of it okay then how to do proper guessing that is our target okay basically many of you are actually facing the problem to find a particular guess find a particular guess we are having lot many problems that is what exactly i'm here to solve it like t of n to simplify it it's uh, less than of c into that gn which we recently talked this within that the value we have to write as it is and here the uh, log is having base 2 okay it's better i am writing it here okay so what you have to do once guess 
uh, you thought it could be your answer then for once the case next you have to go for the mathematical induction of it in mathematical induction you have to uh, say for t of k it should be a uh, true where k square and log k base 2 okay next next t of k is less than equal to c into k square log k base 2 okay this is this is true uh, we should say this is true because if you not think for it is true we cannot go for it a proof of it okay so uh, here you can say uh, for all k will be less than n okay now you can go uh, for proving it once you are going for proving it that uh, the condition which you have already taken so now uh, you should write in this way t of n the value of t of n is 2 t n by 2 plus n okay next uh, once you found this one uh, then you uh, uh, like apply the c of n like i told you constant do not do not touch that one okay you focus on this function and also you do not touch this one also okay so for this one i am um, multiplied with c into n square instead of n square i am just writing it that here n is considered as n by 2 and we have written is n square and log n by 2 simple you just apply instead of n you are just uh, what the, the what, what is there inside the function that you are just writing that one okay next n as it is to not touch it because i told you the function you need to explore is only the function which uh, that we uh, at, uh, we have already uh, uh, seen that one okay next two you keep as it is c into n by 4 because it's square and log n by 2 okay and the base is 2 i told you now n as it is you keep uh, then 2 to get cancelled now to simplify that one uh, it could be c into n by 2 log n by 2 plus n okay or else i'm simplifying here it could not be visible here you can check c into n by 2 log n by 2 okay plus n now we are again going to simplify that one t of n now c into uh, less than equal to c into n by 2 log n by 2 plus n to simplify that we have already read a formula log a by b base 2 suppose ok so it's log a minus log b the formula that we have already read okay so as for the formula we are going to expand this okay now you can check the t of n is now c into n by 2 log n base 2 minus log 2 base 2 plus n then what we have to do now so here you can check c into n by 2 uh, then uh, this is 1 okay so uh, here log n base 2 minus 1 plus n here you have to go for uh, you just expand it again c into n by 2 log n 2 minus c into n by 2 plus n this is what you got for t of n okay now your target is to check whether 
okay uh, one mistake that i actually found is n square here n square n square again n square here n square n square because other n actually n square by 4 that should be written n square by 4 now um, here uh, we keep as it is now n square here n square the main problem we are actually finding whether we accept this case or not whenever remember to find a proper case your target should be the, the answer which you got as for the proof if this is if c into n square whatever the value that you are getting if if this value you can take the value of c you can take the value of n if this value is less than or equal to the guess you have taken the guess is c into n square c into n square log n which you have already taken if the value you can take the value over here also for both the c and n uh, where n is considered as n not here okay you have to check if the value which you are getting if it is less than equal to this one then you accept and you say your guess is correct okay now we are going to prove it by taking the example of simple example you take uh, the value of c could be 2 suppose and uh, suppose n is 2 now we have to prove it whether we which we got whether it is less than equal to the value which we guessed already or not to check that one t of n i just say uh, as for this proof c i am uh, just writing that again n square by 2 log n 2 minus c n square by 2 plus n okay this much now uh, you put the value to to just verify we are putting it log 2 base 2 minus 2 into 2 square which is 4 I'm just putting the value where I should represent it n naught rather than saying it is n it could be a wrong concept okay so now we are just checking it uh, next is to verify that phase 1 so uh, 2 square minus 2 square plus 2 done now 2 square 2 square cut so 2 is here in this side other side what we guessed the guessing we have already taken as c into n square log n base 2 we have already gone for that one okay so here we're just putting the value simply log 2 base 2 so here it is 1 now 2 into 2 square so 2 into 4 which is 8 what i told the case should be greater than equal to if if this condition case should be equal greater than equal to the proof okay then only you can say your guess is correct then if as a hoga then guess is correct now now extra kya likhna hoga our target is to check the guess is correct or not we found a guess is correct but what extra that we have to do that we know if uh, i'll tell you one thing if you are saying big of n okay the maximum time it is taking okay in that case if the maximum time is n square now you can accept n as well as n square suppose any owns uh, you can say uh, program whose time complexity is n square suppose one program's time complexity is this much another program's time complexity is n square 
suppose uh, we can say program 2 can run in linear time of course yes why because n square is greater than big of n if a program is running in linear that could be running in quadratic also so in this case then how we will select the proper guess whether the guess is correct or not we found now the checking of proper guess will be you need to reduce at least at least one more power or you focus on the power first first we have uh, just gone for previously we have taken as the value of n to check to verify uh, their guess uh, was wrong now here the guess is correct but whether it is a proper guess or not uh, jo n square log n le hai, theek hai? suppose uh, one problem is taking n square log n and uh, we can say the program could be run in this time but uh, kya wo le hai? guess could be sahi hai. guess could be correct but we can check whether the program can run with a linear rhythmic time or not. This is polyarithmic. Hai. Okay. Poly, like, or you can say it's, it's quadrat arithmetic. Like quadratic is getting multiplied. We can say if n log n could be possible or not. To find a proper guess, at least we need to reduce something. Uh, so guesses could be done based on the maximum with the minimum. And the, the, the lower one, the lower will be selected as a proper one or as a proper guess to check that one whether it is correct or not we know it's a correct guess but we want to reduce it at least might be the answer could be correct somewhere so here we can check again you just write it t of n is 2 t n by 2 so this is this is an example which might be uh, repeated in the classes or anywhere in the in the youtube uh, videos or any other contents these are available but the problem is uh, no one said how to go for a proper guess in corman uh, it is written well but there also the problem is how to find a proper guess it is not written anyway this is uh, i got like i went for a number of practices then i found uh, you can check the guess again that's why I told you one problem will sort out every uh, possible directions of a coming problem. Okay, one problem that we are actually trying to solve it uh, by dedicating some time, then you can uh, possibly solve the upcoming problems. Okay, like you can check the case could be suppose t of n. Uh, you can think of uh, it could be suppose big of n log n. That we are just again checking it. Okay, next uh, you can say. Uh, t of n as for the formula it could be c into n log n base 2 why because i told you uh, uh, the previously uh, next is uh, mathematical induction okay as for this what we have to do let us say t of k is equal to big of k log k base 2 which is uh, t of k uh, c into k log k base 2 for all k less than n okay we say this is true we said this is true next what we have to do then we have to prove go for the proof when we are going for the proof this time we have to check next t of n is 2 t n by 2 plus n that we have written then once we uh, have to simplify uh, once we want to put the value that i told you to not uh, touch the constant if it is there inside the function only focus on the function as for the function we have written c into we have written c into n log n so in that case instead of n you have to put n by 2 why because this is inside the cost okay c you multiply n by 2 then log n by 2 next to and do not touch this one also because i told you constant and the plus which is adding the constant of the cost of the tn will not be touched in touched you can say okay 
now you have to expand only this one now the second one will be 2 into c into n by 2 log i expanded this log minus log 2 base 2 plus n log 2 base 2 is 1 and this 2 and 2 got cancelled you can see t of n is less than c into n log n base 2 minus 1 plus n okay now c into n log n base 2 minus c into n plus n here i told you whether it is a proper guess or not we have these are these are our proof proof okay proof if it is if it is less than constant which we actually has taken log n okay log n base 2 which is a part of guess if it is there then you can say your uh, guess is correct guess okay uh, you can say the simple uh, value you can check and n not uh, could be 2 instead of n i'm just uh, representing it as it n not okay if i'll uh, do that <coughs> uh, this proof side will be uh, 2 into 2 log 2 base 2 minus 2 into 2 plus 2 where 2 log 2 is 1 uh, 2 into 2 minus 2 into 2 plus 2 where it is 4 4 got cancelled 2 will be the answer and proof side and in guess side what we have to do is uh, guess should be uh, uh, greater than the proof then only we can say it's a correct guess okay so then 2 into 2 log 2 base 2 it's 1 now 2 into 2 is 4 here as for this 2 is less than 4 okay uh, then we can say it's a perfect guess if it is a perfect guess we can go for the best condition but once we are going to for the best condition we have to check with here <coughs> to find c of 0 whether it is false or true we have to check it here whenever you can go for the best condition that time as for the best condition we have written t of 1 is 1 we have written this one okay now we are going to check with the best condition to find the value of constant which is getting multiplied okay t of 1 instead of t of 1 what exactly we are going to write instead of n you just write it 1 okay like as for our case we actually proved it here we have proven okay we have proven that uh, the uh, n log n it's n log n i'm just writing it that one once again like we have proven take this one is like this so when you want to put the value of t1 whether it is 1 or not we want to find in this case constant the value of constant we are trying to find out now it's 1 log 1 base 2 here it is 0 now the problem is t of 1 is greater than c into 0 it's a false condition though it is false so the it will be true if the value the problem is the n value the n naught okay the value should be the n naught the value should be at least more than 1 because we actually started with the n naught equal to uh, 1 that we checked okay we should say if I am just writing it well if c value is greater than equal to 1 and n naught is greater than 1 okay or you can say instead of uh, writing that one and uh, 
uh, is uh, greater than 1 or you can say if 1 is less than n okay, because n is a greater number that I told you n not we are actually focusing so if this happened then your proper guess tn is equivalent to big of n log n this is the answer using substitution method okay here it is proved so uh, what we have to do we have to, we have gone for the guesses in the guesses we found again i'm just writing the note in substitution your target should be you have to go for a proper case okay first step step one guess step two proof okay but before that if you want to write you need to uh, go for the checking of uh, by thinking it's true it's a mathematical induction better you can say okay guess then mathematical induction sec third step have to check whether the proof the value of proof i'm just writing it value of proof if it is less than value of guess then I'm writing an if condition if value of proof is less than value of guess then we say the guess is is correct okay but our target is not correct only our target is a proper guess step 4 the lowest guess or you can say uh, the lowest the, the lowest guess which we done earlier that we have seen huh? lowest guess or lowest complexity guess guess will be selected as perfect guess this is how the substitution method works okay i hope it is understood by you if any problem you can message below thank you all